Well, as you can see on my last shot, it's snowing again. Well, I guess I decided I'm going to throw my new pump in, in my plow here. And okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the positive cable. It's a half inch wrench. You're going to want to hold that jam nut there because you don't want it to spin because you wreck your motor. After the positive cable is taken off, use a crescent wrench and I take off the fill, take out the fill plug. Okay, then you take a quarter inch hex bit and take out the drain plug. The next thing you're taking off is the two bolts to hold the motor on. They're 5 eighths. Be careful with this back one. It holds the ground wire and the other deal that holds the negative cable. Don't let that fall on your pan. Okay, the motor is free now. If you take the two bolts out, it's good. Couple of wax to break to break the seal, and it should come out. Try not to break the little, the little gasket, otherwise you'll have to replace it. And there's the inside of the motor. It's got a little seal there to keep the hydraulic fluid out. Here's the gasket for the motor. Okay, the pump's in there. Looks filthy in there again. Um, the bolts you're taking off are the two uh, silver ones. The black ones are the are permanent. They stay on the. They hold the pump together. So there's only two you take out. Okay, the bolts that, two bolts that hold the pump in are half inch. Bolted, comes out. There it is. Here's what you get when you get uh, <clears throat> a new pump kit. You get directions, you get a new screen, a new gasket for the motor, an o ring for the bottom of the motor. And you get two new bolts, mounting bolts, and then an oily new pump. So, I'm gonna get to installing this right now. Okay, what I'm doing first is pulling this plug off. And I'm taking the new screen and putting it on. 
You want to push it on till it seats all the way on and it is a very tight fit. Okay, next thing is pulling off, pulling out this plug. Then I take the oil that was all over that, take the O-ring, oil it up, and then I stick it on. Push it on. Then I got my mounting bolts in on both sides and it's ready to be dropped in. So I'm going to take it slowly, carefully, setting it in place here. Okay, now I can start putting it back together now that the new pump is in. Um, for putting the motor back on, you have to line up this slot with the slot in the motor. It, it won't go on unless these are lined up. So you got to look at look at your motor, find out where that which way that slot is facing, and line it up. Not the easiest thing to do, and it usually takes a little bit of time to do it. But you just gotta be careful your seal, you don't wreck your seal on your motor either, so. Drop the gasket on. Motor's heavy, not the easiest thing to do. But take your time to go on. Reinstall the bolts. Positive cable back up. And you don't want to forget your drain plug. Put your fluid in the fill hole there until it starts coming out the level hole and you're done. Um, you are supposed to flush out your cylinders. You're supposed to take the hoses off, flush out your both cylinders. Um, I'm gonna go to the parts store today. Uh, see if I can't get two new cylinders, two new hoses, just so I start out clean uh, with new stuff. If it's not too much, if it's too much money, I'm just gonna, I'll just uh, flush it, and I'll do a video either way of what I do. So.